Welcome to Buckingham Palace. That was a really anticlimactic opening for the big blah. Yeah, and this is Talia. Hi. She's your tour guide for today. Tell us about Buckingham Palace. Where the Queen lives. Is she there at the moment? Well, there's a flag, and I was told that. Yes. It's not really flying though. It's no, just kind of. It's just there. Chillaxing at the top. Now we were discussing when we went to St Paul's about the gold and how much it could help the poor. That statue over there could probably help a lot of poor people. And then all the way around the fence is gold bits and pieces and the gates have loads of gold on. It's, uh, I think it's okay though, it's where the queen lives. It's where the queen it's lives. Allowed. It doesn't give her any right to be rich. We went to a coffee shop that we can't name for advertisement reasons. We'll call it, for the purposes of this video, we'll call it Bar Stucks. Nice. And <laughs> it's good. It's good coffee. There's something going on, there's music. What do you reckon's going on? We've got a good view of everything from here. We're sitting down. Uh, Talia thinks I'm the greatest tour guide ever. And, uh, aren't I? Uh, 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 no. what, was, what was the first thing I said when we got here? Right here? Yeah. I don't remember. The balcony. Oh, the balcony where stuff happens. Only, only A star uh, tour guides know that sort of stuff. Yeah. If you ask anyone else, they wouldn't be able to tell you that that's the balcony where stuff happens. You can't even see it from where we're sitting. They but it's like there. Prince it's William there. kissed what's the face Middleton there. Kate. Kate? Yeah, Kate. But you know, everyone seems to prefer Pippa. Sorry, Kate. I I'm not. I'm in, I I prefer Kate personally. She's older, but she's foxy. Hmm, Buckstar. No, that's not what I called it before. Barstucks. Now check out this guy's shoes. Mm. Amazing. They're like silver and spiky, and I'm wearing sensible shoes because. We hurt our feet walking so much yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this has been Phil's Tourist Guides, Buckingham Palace. Check in later for Trafalgar Square. <laughs> As Tyler's dad calls it. It's true. Yep. Welcome to Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square, yes. Not Trafalgar, as people commonly mistake the name, it is actually Trafalgar. Uh, Charlie's dad will tell you that's true. Here we have Nelson. He's pretty high up, and the reason he's high up, uh, as I was telling our Canadian friend over here, is because typically he'd be high enough to see the sea. So he's high enough facing the sea. You vain person. Uh, these fountains. I have to do it for my Identical fountains to represent serenity in unison. That's not what they represent at all. Over there's the fourth plinth. Uh, the current piece of artwork on it is uh, a bronze or gold kid on a rocking horse. The lions represent something, but I can't remember what. Um, I have it in my little book here, but I'm not going to find it. It'll take me too long. Uh, and yeah, I think that's all of there is of interest in Trafalgar. Nelson, if you didn't know, I think this is right, learned to sail on Barton Broad in Norfolk. So if you're from Norfolk and know where Barton Broad is, it's uh, where Nelson learned to sail. Of course he, he was a, yeah, that's right, take photos of it. It's amazing, it's amazing. Uh, and just down there, you can see our next stop on Phil's Tourist Guide of London. That is, uh, that is, not Big Ben, as it is commonly mistaken. Uh, did you know that that's not Big Ben? That one? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. It's not Big Ben. The okay. bell inside is actually oh, called Big right. Ben. Okay. Well, the tower is called something weird, and I don't remember. But the bell inside is called Big Ben. And there's a one called Little Ben as well. So, there you go. <laughs> We're here, teleported from Trafalgar Square to here. Uh, this is the clock tower. Not. Big Ben, as I previously mentioned, Big Ben is up there inside the clock tower. I just asked what the tower was called because I'm sure it has a name. 
and I'm sure someone's going to correct me on this, but apparently it's just called the Clock Tower. Uh, but it's due to be renamed, here's the, here's the fun fact, it's due to be renamed the Elizabeth Tower after our good old Queen Elizabeth, uh, who as we all know is my third favourite monarch, or third, 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 third favourite Queen. Everyone's still going to call it Big Ben. Because King Alfred, we all love King Alfred. Yeah, there's, there's not much of interest, apart from the fact there's a lot of gold, and uh, I believe, Tully, didn't you say something about, um, what was it you said about England being superior to Canada? I said, I believe my words were the CN Tower have nothing, nothing. Yeah, no, but what did you say, what did you say before that? Canada's inferior. inferior. Yeah, is that to England? Yeah. Architecturally, architecturally. Yeah, she didn't say that before. She's just trying to say, well, any Canadians out there, this is... This is the person I'm who sorry. disowned your country. I'm oh, and there's Westminster Abbey. Uh, there's a load of monarchs and kings and people who live there. Uh, they're dead, <laughs> but they're, they're buried there. Um, and that's where coronations and stuff happen and the, the wedding and things like that. Um, so, I think, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know where the wedding happened. I didn't watch it, I was on a boat. Did you I watch it? You were sleeping. I was sleeping. That was three in the morning for me, I think, or something. Where's like that. Where's your patriotic spirit? I'm Canadian. I mean, yeah, but you said this country's superior. That doesn't mean I'm not Canadian. It's useless. She's useless. No. <laughs> uh, and these are the houses of parliament you can see all around, uh, all around the clock tower or the Elizabeth Tower, as it will soon be named. Um, and there's the underground. Oh, it's not like teleport, but up here, where we can see everything. There's, there's the clock tower, all the way so that's more common in there. We've got the BT tower, it's a bit cramped in here. Um, there's another pod, there's an orange pod down there, right at the bottom. I don't know why it's orange, can I really want to know? It's bugging me. Over there is Nelson's column. You can't see it, it's, it's over there. Um, which is where Trafalgar is, which is where we were. Over there. The Gherkin's somewhere over there. Gherkin, Canary Wharf, and Shard over there. Just thought I'd give you a tour of the entirety of London. That bridge there is where. Uh, 20 days later, in the opening scene, yeah, most of it's shot. So there you go, that's an interest for you. May not be. It's interesting to Talia here, who was annoyed that I didn't point it out when we were actually on the bridge. Evidently, there's been a crash or something because there's a couple of ambulances and someone on the floor. I don't know if you can see that. You can see a lot from up here. It's a bit cramped. There's Westminster Abbey from above. Houses of Parliament from above. Everything's just from above. We're staying all the way over there. You can see Wembley. Where, oh, I almost dropped you. So sorry. That's where we're staying. And that's pretty much everything of interest from the line. Uh, continuing Phil's tourist guide thing. We <laughs> we just did the uh, the London, London Tower Bridge experience and the tombs. We didn't do London Dungeons because, psh, boring. Um, <laughs> what did you think? I liked the experience part. Would you recommend it to all the viewers? Yes, I would actually. I would too. It was good fun. It was hilarious. It was good fun. My heart still beating. It was quite scary Loved at points. Um, we got attacked with a chainsaw. We that part got me. That part got It was only because he stuck it in my face. Because I, I, I knew the chainsaw was coming and then vroom, I, got, I jumped. Um, but yeah. So that was good. Part of it. We've that still was got Town Bridge left, and then I think we're done for the tourist guide. So we'll discuss which was the best. But first, teleport to Town Bridge. Tower Bridge. That was a good teleport. Do you think that was a good teleport? I, she doesn't care. I took oh. her, she's still deluded from the teleport, which I took her on because I have that power. We were over there before. There's people behind me who are judging me. Uh, this is Town Bridge. It moves. It opens like uh, that. One of them bridges. That's pretty much all it is at the moment. It's got some Olympic rings up at the roof. Which you can't really see from here. There are pictures. Tyler has pictures, so she'll show you them when you when you see her next. Um, 
I, there's not really a lot to say about Tower Bridge. No. But so. it's also very pretty. It's very pretty, according to Talia, but she still prefers, she still prefers the clock tower, or Big Ben, as you people like to call it. But, and that's the Shard. So there you go. Tower of Babylon, that is. God will strike it down. You watch it. How heartbroken are you? You heartbroken that we can't get in? Oh. So much. So much. So much. I think there's a cool little cannon thing over there. And there's these lions that. It's called the catapult. See. Catapult, cannon. They all begin with C. I know a word for you that begins with C. Oh. Rude. I never said it could have been any word. Atto. I didn't even say it was a name we could call you. She's just got a gutted mind. Uh, but yeah, this is where some famous people were kept. It's a prison, if you don't know that. Talia didn't. Um, people like, uh, I think, Mary Queen of Scots was kept here. And other royal people. You'll probably all know better than I do. I don't know anything about history. Uh, but I like the Tudors and they use this a lot because they were a ruthless bunch. For, um, and now we're going to go find something else. To, oh, and that's the Gherking over there. Uh, Talia, for some reason, just loves the Gherkin. Love it. I think it's an innuendo. I point it out every time we see it. She does. Not a word of a lie. Just, she's got something on the mind. Vegetables that look a bit like cucumbers, apparently. Is that what a Gherkin is? What? A bit like a pickle, isn't it? Is that what a Gherkin is? I don't know. Maybe we should ask someone. No. I'm not going to ask a completion. Oh, and uh, there's beef eaters, but I can't be bothered to go back down there and show you what beef eaters look like. Google it. Google it. They look like that. Oh, they wear. Do you see? Can you see that? See what that guy's wearing there on the poster. Yeah. Google. Google it. Find out why they're called that. Because Tyler didn't look it out before she decided to be a tour guide. I know. So anyway, what was your favourite tourist attraction? <laughs> Other than the clock tower. I really like the um... You can call it Big Ben. Okay. I wouldn't get that pretentious about it. I also like the experience, the, 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 the Tower Bridge experience. Yeah. That was fun. The first half, the tombs were alright. Um, I like Trafalgar Square. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> this, she's describing each of the different... <laughs> <laughs> she's describing each of the different places we went. Yeah. Without answering the question, which was what was your favourite? Oh, Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben, right? Actually called the clock tower. Whatever. <laughs> um, she she likes it because it was pretty. Um, I quite like the the London Bridge experience because it had a cool swirly room that was just a bridge going through a swirly room and you looked at it and you're like it's just a bridge going through a swirly room the second you stepped in the whole room just went like this but the room wasn't moving it was crazy it was awesome i want to do it again but and i'm the not the psycho theme was playing and that was good yeah the psycho psycho oh, thing was playing. Um, and anyway that's all we've got for today's episode of phil's tourist guide i don't know what i called the last Tour episode guide. Phil. no no i like like a book like a book like a tourist guide oh. Not, not, not me. Am I just being grammatically incorrect? No, I'm never grammatically Everything incorrect. Happens. I'm perfect in grammar. Me good at grammar. He is. Uh, <laughs> right, we're done. We're going to go find something to do. Maybe uh, eat some food or drink a drink or watch a movie. I don't know.